This 3D printed product is helping save lives. As a paramedic, you have to act quickly and decisively. But in the chaos of an emergency, disorder just creeps in. You're prepping meds, you're trying to find a vein, you're trying to get people out of the way as you go towards the ambulance. And on top of it all, you're trying to find a steady place to put your IV while you push some adrenaline to restart the hearts of that concussion victim who has a third degree fracture. Now that all the real paramedics out there are mad at me, I seriously want to go into the medic mate. This is an awesome device that was designed by the Flatline Company up in Canada. It is designed to hold syringes basically anywhere you need them to be while you're working in the back of an ambulance or at a scene. It has all kinds of nifty little quirks in it that allow it to be really useful in keeping your space organized rather than falling into the chaos and trying to chase down a particular syringe at any given moment. That is the first and core main feature. There are color-coded clamps on the side of it all that are for setting several different sizes of syringes. This allows you to pre-prep meds before you get to the scene so that they're right there easily pulled whenever you need them at the scene. And it's not just the 3D printed clips. This has to be a reliable system. So they've also input bungees that allow you to hold in the syringes so that they can't get knocked loose and knocked out. It's all a really stable, robust kind of a system. But that's not the only thing it does. This is perfectly designed by somebody who obviously works inside of the industry. On the other side of it, there are more bungees which allow you to clamp it up to the side of a pole. And there's a TPU pad so that it doesn't slip up and down that pole. That way you can mount it up someplace and then hang the IV bag above it. And then there are clips on the side that allow you to clip on to the IV drip chamber. This puts all of your syringes and the IV all in one single stable spot to where you can get a hold of it and pull it and then push some medication into the IV line. And this is where the little tricks keep on coming because on the side there is a cap grabber where you just shove the syringe up into it, twist, and then it will hold the cap inside of there. Or you can then take the ends of the caps and screw them onto several other places that allow it to hold the ends of the caps where you need them to be while you are pushing your meds into the IV. These are all very small tweaks that are very subtle but very very well designed. Once you're done using the meds in some stable situation and you want to move the patient along, it has a good belt clip that's actually really well designed because it works with all the standard kind of belts and then any sort of moule kit that you might have. But what I appreciate about this belt clip is that it is actually kind of one directional. They have this wonderful zigzag pattern down at the bottom that you don't always see in belt clips so that it actually holds onto the belt clip and doesn't slide up and down involuntarily. It takes a decision to pop it off of the belt, which is really, really useful because the whole point of this is to make sure stuff is not going someplace on its own unless you decide for it to go that way. And the final cherry on top, which is just a little bungee that you can put a carabiner onto. Ultimately, what we want to show off with this is that this is an excellent example of a very intentionally designed product for a very specific niche in the world. A first responder was able to create a product that they are now able to make and sell and produce and it's actually better than anything someone else would have created because someone else probably just doesn't have the same amount of context in it. And this is what's so powerful about 3D printing. You today are able to recognize problems in your own life, design a product for it, and then if you do not want to have to sell it yourself or build a business around it, you can just upload the files to a place like Teleport so that people who do not have access to the prints can purchase them from you. But this is an incredible enabling capability because it's never been possible before. The quality of 3D printing and the scale of 3D printing services that are available now has never been available before. But it makes these types of products possible. And in addition to that, since this product is now digital, it's not stuck in a mold or something else, Flatline Co. can continue to iterate and evolve this product only by uploading a new file and not having to cut a new tool for it. And Flatline Co. is doing this. They have several different versions of the Medic Mate, from a mini one to just a full maxed out one, but the core functionality is there and they're able to continue designing for themselves and if other people want it, they are able to get a hold of one. This is incredibly enabling to people so that they can create products that are necessary for what they are doing. It's awesome to see these types of products making it out into the real world. If you are the designer of a 3D printed product, please comment down below and share the link with us. We love sharing these real products out there in real industries doing real work. And if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Have a great day, everybody.